Hello everyone, it is 11.17 at night, I'm exhausted from stream, I have gamer subs and french fries. And Arnie, I have Arnie too. Hello! Say hello to the Arnold. Hello Arnold. Hello everybody. I like Arnie. No, we're not doing this shit, Danny. No, we're doing no, it. No, put it away. No! Put it away, Danny. No, I love put you. Put it away, I Danny. Love I love you! I love you too. Thank you. But it's only funny the first time. No, it's funny as long as you repeat it. No. Yes. Also, your editor can stay away from my eyes. Long, long, I'm just gonna be talking like this for the rest of the stream so that he doesn't put anything yeah. in my eyes. So I was telling another video earlier today and I keep kept saying chat when I was talking about stuff. Like I, I did the same thing in my, <laughs> my video just now. I'm like, fuck! I did the same thing. We're not live! <laughs> but, um, yeah. So we go, we go, today's stream. I was gonna film a video for Valentine's Day. I didn't, cause I was, I was sad. But we're gonna film this in honor of Valentine's Day for all the single people out there and for all the people who had horrible first dates. That's what we're doing. We're reviewing your first dates and how bad they were. I read through some of these. Some of these definitely can't read on YouTube. Oh boy. Yeah. Some people are fucked now up. Now I'm curious. You no, know, some people are fucked up, man. Oh, I want to know. I, I got, I got screenshots of the good ones. Not necessarily good, but you know, like the funny okay. ones. The funny ones that people okay. were willing to share. Comment your first worst date in the comments and like and subscribe. Do it, bitch. Do it, pussy. Wait, Do can it. I say that? Yeah, you can say pussy. Oh, okay. Pussy. I'm just gonna say it for the rest of the video. <laughs> no, I'm not gonna say it for the rest of the video. Don't worry about <laughs> right. it. Have you ever had a, like a horrible first worst date, Arnie? Mmm. Uh, I live in Miami and a lot of times people like to make it about money. So a lot oh. of them end like that where they're like, I had a first date one time where this girl literally said, um, I'm going to order the most expensive thing on the menu. And if you can't pay for it, then it tells me what kind of guy you are. And I literally was like, okay. And I got up and I left. And that's one of like the three times I've actually like just, I three three <laughs> three times i actually got up and left from a date you've gotten up from a date three times and just left yes the other two um, times what are the other two times one one time the person was not who they were in their pictures Ooh. and then the other time it was like she was like a, a friend it was like a friend set us up on the date and we like actually like kind of low-key like hated each other and they were like nah go you guys just gotta like you know you just gotta and you'll love each other. And it, they were very wrong. So we both just argued and then just like, What? <laughs> we just both <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> you just argued and left? Yeah, it was pretty interesting. Damn. No, but if she's if she's watching this, you know. Listen. Fuck you still! No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> Alright, well, we're gonna get into this. So um I Let's I posted it. this on my Instagram story and I got literally over almost ten thousand replies saying the worst first date I've ever had is not being on one. So that annoyed me a lot. Wait, 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 Danny, Danny, did you get me? Did you get mine? Did I get course I response? got yours. Of course I got yours. Yeah. Arnie was very Let's go. sweet, and I've never been on a true first date with Arnie. So when's that gonna happen? Yeah, we did. Low key, low key. Kind of been on a date. It wasn't like a. It wasn't like a date date. Korean barbecue. Date. Nah. Remember. It when we got uh, when you were Gojo and I was Megumi and you wanted bagels. Yeah! And we went down to get bagels. Yeah! And we, it was just us two. We separated from the group and we chilled and we chopped it up. Chopping it up! We're taking, chopped we're taking it up. Brandon lingo. Yeah. <laughs> chopping chopped it, it up. up together. It was great. That was and like... we said very personal things mm -hmm. and we had bagels and it was amazing. It was really great. It was like the second time we'd ever like met in person. And now look at us. We're married. Yeah, forever. We're getting, uh, I'm, I'm proposing to him with a nose ring. Do it. I just got a stud. <laughs> I'll do it. I'll get ring. you a nose ring. <laughs> That's actually fucking. Why don't people propose with nose rings? I know that's fuck? so cool. That is so romantic. We're getting so off track. We're getting ring. so. Off I will propose you with a nose ring, legitimately. Okay, let's do it. I will do it at Costco. Next and video. I will, I will save. Next it. video. I will <laughs> save it exactly. So here's the first one. This is from. I, I, I'm not gonna say the username. All right, this is the first one. Um, I I honestly don't think this is that bad. He made us watch Markiplier just so he could make a move. Yes, Mark's Five Nights at Freddy's videos made him hard. That's. Okay, the last part, I don't know about that. I don't know about hey, the last part. Are, are you saying you know you're, what, not, honestly, are you the saying last you're part, not attracted to Markiplier? Danny, I am 100% fully attracted to Markiplier. That but. man, that man, they need to give him his own character on Dream Daddy. That dude <laughs> is a daddy. That dude is a daddy. God. Markiplier is the handsomest man on YouTube 
Tell me I'm wrong. You're the handsomest man on YouTube, Arnie. Go follow your no, YouTube. No, you are Danny. Go follow Arnie's YouTube. Go follow Danny's YouTube. Go, fo go, go subscribe, subscribe to, to Danny's YouTube. Go s go give 25 subs to Danny's YouTube right now. That'd be really nice. <laughs> YouTube, <laughs> no, not YouTube. Fuck. He made you watch Markiplier just so he can make a move. Like, would you mark? Would you watch Markiplier on a date? I would. I would. If like I fucked with the person really hard, I would. I would like, watch I, Markiplier like, on a date. Here's the thing. Like when I like if I get really close with someone, like I like I, I like watching YouTube videos a lot like in general yeah but it's like if i'm if i'm really close with someone i'll watch youtube videos with i'm like hey do you want to watch this with me like this is like a series or something i really like because it's it's, it's it's like yeah. it's like so it's showing someone like music that you really like that you're like looking over at them the whole time you know like hoping they like it seeing if they have a reaction yeah you know? ex exactly exactly when so when you're showing them a funny youtube video you look at their face to see if they're if they're liking it exactly if they're not then you're like then you just take the phone away and you're like never mind you exactly. don't appreciate my so meme. you think that's horrible i think this man was thinking like 10,000 moves ahead of you. You know what? I think he just didn't deserve you. That's what I think. Or uh, Shit. you didn't he they didn't deserve him. Yes. That's what I meant. <laughs> it's late for us. So I'm currently in the process of having my 1:25 a.m. cup of cup of joe coffee. Danny, did you see my mug? Look what it says. Baller. Balls. And it has a little ooh face. I like it. Can I put my balls in your jaw? Danny, no, I'm supposed to be the horny one. You're supposed to be the horny police. Ugh. You can't be the horny one because then the world goes up in flames. Oh, uh, but come on. Do I have to? You must. I don't want to take on this responsibility. If not, the world will combust. Own. That's okay. You have Cthulhu. 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 Yes, the boy. Cthulhu. The boy-o. Cthulhu cam. <laughs> I just cut to that in the That's middle. Of hilarious. In the <laughs> middle of my video. Next, next one. Next one. Oh, this is a great one. His girlfriend showed up. Oh shit! Was she invited? Uh, it does not seem so. I don't have context. Tragic. Well, first, rude of him not to invite his girlfriend. Exactly. That's what I would say. Other than that, I don't see anything wrong with it. <laughs> Honestly, Tifty, the girlfriend. What the hell? Other than that, I mean, you know, I guess. Sure, just let them argue. Just keep, keep, you know, just do the date on your own. Like, and let them argue, but... Did the girlfriend show up because the boyfriend asked her to, but didn't tell the person that he was on the date on? Or, like, did the girlfriend show up and then get mad at the boyfriend? I'm picturing, like, the girlfriend, like, showed up and was just like, What the f*** is getting out of here? What Kevin? <laughs> Jennifer, it's not what it looks like. And then she left, and she bashed the windows of his car in, keyed his car after, and then blew it up. What can you do? I'm, I'm should on, have invited I'm, her. I'm on Jennifer's side here. I agree. Should have should have invited her. Should I'm on Jennifer. I'm on Jennifer's side too. Next one. Hooked up in the back of a cinema. We were watching the Paw Patrol movie. <laughs> That's amazing. What the fuck? Is that supposed to be bad? Is that really <laughs> supposed to be bad? You will tell your children's children of this legendary tale, and you're in here telling Danny in his DMs that this is a bad first date. What the fuck? I like, wish I had a date that good. Why would you up at the movies? They have cameras. He's pulling his cock out. Pulling his cock out. <laughs> that's the whole point. Wait, it's a Paw Patrol movie. Situation. There are children there. Okay, that's the only thing I would say was a red flag. <laughs> uh, but you were you were focusing on the cinema part, which I was like, what? Well, oh, like they're in public <laughs> at a kids movie. At a kids movie. The kids movie is a red flag. Don't don't be doing that shit at a kids movie unless it's like at 12 a.m. showing and there's no one there, which. Also would bring up the question of like why do movie theaters show that shit at 12 a.m. Doesn't make any sense, but whatever. Just don't do it if there are children present. What the fuck, people? What the fuck? The Other fuck? than that, legendary first date. Maybe maybe pick like uh go for like um the Jujutsu Kaisen movie when it comes out. Aww. That's gonna be yeah. Catch me and Danny in the cinema for that one. <laughs> the new you Batman movie? Saying. Bro, I'm a fuck to Batman. Oh, yes. Robert Pattinson. With oh. um Robert Pattinson. I'm bro. so excited for that movie. Let's go. We'll, we'll go watch that together. Yes. And then watch. What's your, what's your favorite hookup spot that you ever had or you've ever been to? I have so many. Oh, man. I don't know. I've never thought of this. Normally, I just go for functionality over... All right. Functionality. What's the most functional hookup spot you've had? Functionality-wise... Oops. I'm sorry, Mike. Functionality-wise... What works best is generally my bedroom. That's normally that what sense. works best for sense. me. Works. If we're talking aesthetic wise, the beach at night. Oh my God, so sandy. But not but not by the sand, not by okay, the sand. Okay, I was gonna not say the sand. Ooh. I don't like There's sand. It's places awesome. and it gets everywhere. Like, there are places that don't have sand. Like, lifeguard towers. I was about to say. <laughs> yeah, see you, know, see, you get it. You get it, Danny. That's Big why break. you're so good at this shit. You get this shit. That's what it's that's what it's all about. Sex. 
I do that. Me too. <laughs> all right, all right, all right. Next one, next, next, next one. He wore cat ears to the fanciest restaurant on town, then made me pay and had me walk home. Kenny, we are totally, we are totally going to wear cat ears and go to a fancy restaurant and have that? a date and film it. That'd We're so totally funny. doing that shit. So whoever <laughs> said that, thank you for the idea. We're stealing it. Content. <laughs> no, we're dealing with a giga chad. A giga chad. Okay. Okay. Let's pros and cons this one. Pros. Cat boy. Wait, he wore cat ears or they wore? Uh, he, he wore cat he... ears to the fanciest restaurant in town. Then he made me oh. pay and had me walk home. Okay. Pros. Cat boy. What else? Massive <laughs> testicles. This man's got to have balls Massive the size ball. of the moon to wear cat ears. Big too. cojones. Exactly. Okay. Big balls and cat boy. Cons. Cat boy. Okay. Overlap. A little Venn diagram situation. Made them walk Made home. her walk home. That's not what you want to make them do. No. And also force them to pay. You split 50-50. Split 50-50. Equality. That's right. Exactly. Normally, it's a first I pay. It's not like you know, I'm just of course competitive you, as fuck. <laughs> of course, you offer to pay, but it's like on a first date, you are both mutually getting to know each other. You gotta go 50 50. Because it's, okay, a, it's true. a mutual arrangement. It's not one person. I person could, I never let anyone pay. I never let them pay. See, I, I don't, never, personally, I, I don't either, but for, for my recommendation to everyone else, 50 50. Whatever you're content with. Unless you're with me. If you're with me, I will not let you pay. Even if you want to pay, I will not let you pay. This is true. Sorry. Like, actually, Arnie will, like, try and pay for everything. I have to, like, kick him, like, away. Like With to, people that I love, I, have to, like, I will throw dollar dollar bills from, at y'all. To throw him away from the cashier. Just me on Danny. And then he's just like, no, stop! Then you start yelling. I, I'm Jewish. I like it. <laughs> he liked to be spoiled. Of course, I love money. You heard it here first, folks. Danny's not the mom anymore because I got I got some sugar and I'm the sugar mama. I'm your sugar mama now. So you better be a good boy if you want me to buy you that new PS5. I, I don't like console. <laughs> you better be a good boy if you want me to buy you that new $1,500 graphics card. I'm good. I got the GTX 1080. You better be a good boy if you want me to buy you a fucking Ferrari. I don't know, Danny. Danny, what do you need in this world? Groceries. I will threaten it. Hold it over your head. Groceries. Groceries. I need food, man. <laughs> you I'm better be a good boy. I won't order IHOP to your fucking... No, I need my food. No. <laughs> yes, I knew IHOP would do it. <laughs> Fuck. No. <laughs> I've done that like twice while we were on call. I know. Like, at I have ordered fucking IHOP. <laughs> And it's always I I'm so because I hope's the only thing that'll deliver at that time. I'm so hungry. No, I remember this one time where you had other options and your I hop was taking too long and you were like, damn, should I just should I just cancel the IHOP order and get something that's closer and takes less time? And you were like, no, nah, but I just really want IHOP, so you didn't. IHOP's got good sauce. The IHOP sauce is banging, okay? IHOP has pancakes, and those are very good, so I cannot blame you. Moving on from Catboy, but we're, we're using that idea. We're vlogging at a yes, we're fancy definitely, ass restaurant. We're definitely using We're taking that. It's ours. All right. First date in the cinema. Again, another movie theater. He stared at me, th he stared at mm. me through the entire movie. He said nothing. Just stared at me. Whoa. Why wouldn't you like That's... that? Just like staring at you, just looking deeply into your soul and your eyes menacingly. For Danny, hours imagine, on end. imagine you're just watching Batman. And it's like, I'm Batman. And you look to your right and it's just like, it's not even scared. They're just like politely looking. You want some popcorn? I'm going to go to the bathroom. What happens when they leave to go to the bathroom? Do they just stare where that last at the last point that they saw them at until I guess. they come back and then they pick I it up from there? They're just on pause, I guess. I don't know. <laughs> yeah. Imagine they left. I couldn't do that. My ADHD would make me fucking watch the movie. No, yeah, I just watched the movie. I just am a normal ass person. We're, like, we're normal people. Do you feel pressure when you go on dates? Because I'm like 100% myself. Like I'm gonna I don't be even honest. Give a shit. Like all, like almost all the dates I've been on have been like everyone I've like quote unquote like been with and dated. I've been really good friends with first, so. Yeah. Everyone I've actually ended up dating, I had a friendship with. Exactly, prior, yeah. So. Like, all, literally, almost every person I've dated, I've, like, known for, like, months before, and then we started dating. So I've been on, like, casual dates like that, though, and none of them I've ended up actually being in a relationship with. Okay. I don't really date, honestly. I just fall in love with my friends. He pulls. <laughs> Tipos. All right, uh, next one. We went to go learn boxing, and I punched him so hard I broke rib. 
punch him so hard I broke rib. What? That is amazing. Yo, I can't believe I never thought of this. Boxing Damn, date. what the fuck? Boxing date and you break one of their ribs, bro? Beat the shit out of them. Listen, I'm going to be honest. If I took someone boxing and they broke my ribs, I'd be turned on. I would have to marry them on the spot. I would have to propose with, like, with a nose ring to them. They break your ribs, you fall to one knee, look up with a ring. <laughs> Daniela Phantasmala. Will you marry me and then break my other six ribs? How many ribs do you have? Six ribs? I have no clue. Let me look this up. How many ribs do you have? Uh, 12 pairs. Will you marry me and break my other 11 ribs? Oh my god, yes. Yes, yes, yes I will. I will. <laughs> Arnie's just moaning on the ground. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. <laughs> I only broke three more. Oh, yeah, baby. You can do better than that. What's wrong with us? Rib snapping. What's wrong with us? What's wrong with us, Danny? Can is you, that our love you, language can is you violence? Grab the ins can you grab the inside of your rib cage? Like, if you suck in your- Like, if you stand up and, like, suck in your chest, you can, like, grab underneath. Is this what it feels like to die? I think I'm doing it. <laughs> it looks like it. Yeah, I'm doing like, it. I'm gr I can, like, grip almost underneath. I can't breathe. <laughs> it Stop it! Stop it! Oh, here's a great one. She made out with a girl. What's wrong with that? Context. It was a different girl. So there were three girls? No. Okay, what kind of date are you going on if she's in a position to make out with another? Would you take her to fucking, like, a nightclub? I don't know, what the, what kind of date is that? I don't know. This is one's just completely out of left field. Realizing that I would never see my dog again after he passed. What? Where's this existentiality coming from on a first date? Is, is that what ruined the date? Or did you just want to tell me that? Why were they? <laughs> yeah, what the fuck? <laughs> What the fuck? What is the- That's all it says? Yep, realizing that I would never see my dog again after he passed. Yeah, you know, whenever I go on my first date with my persons that I go on first dates with, I always like to remember as soon as that I look at them, day. I'm just immediately reminded of the dog I had when I was a child that died a gruesome death and has caused me all of this turmoil. That's exactly what I thought of yeah, when I Yeah, you know, them. whenever like I meet up with someone and I'm like getting really intimate with them, I always think of that, you know, one day they will die and all I will have left is the memories we created together and nothing else because I can never experience them again. Really? Because when I first start talking to someone, the first thing I think of is how they will eventually probably not speak to me anymore at some point in our lives and all of this is going to amount to nothing and we're probably just wasting each other's time and even if it's not that we get bored of each other one of us will die and that's when we will stop talking to each other so what's the point point? Mm -hmm. and then again all you'll have left is the memories and that you'll never be able to yeah. the fact that you'll never be able to experience them ever again because they're gone forever exactly we're so romantic we are <laughs> <laughs> That was so funny. It's horrible. That's horrible. That was so funny. Fall That's in love. That's Fall in love, everyone. Thing. Fall in love. It's worth it. Oh, here's a great one. I went on a date with a 26-year-old man, and he insisted on his parents being there. He um, And he had his parents controlling everything we did. Yeah, I'm going to be honest with you. Parents being involved at all, you can get that shit out of my face. Exactly. If they have strict parents, it's not happening, bro. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I... It's not even just like the fact that like the parents are strict. It's just that their lives are so limited because that's why. That. That's why. And like especially at that's our, why. Like at our age too, it's not yeah. per se like normal, quote unquote. I've dated someone with strict parents. It's not the move, bro. You I can't do the, anything. I used to be the person with strict parents. But like, okay, if we dated when your parents were strict on you, what? How would that have affected our relationship? Um, I what would have happened? I wouldn't be able to text you after nine. I wouldn't be really able, yeah I wouldn't be able to I could only go out twice a week um and I had to be home by wow. nine every night holy after. shit yeah I could I wouldn't be able to see you after you were what I, I considered a red flag I, I couldn't I couldn't be able to do anything after school because I'd have to do my extracurriculars um, I'd have to go to viola practice or I'd have to go to tutoring or I'd have to do football or wrestling or theater before school that was probably the only time I could meet up with you would be and that would have to be at school because my parents would drop me off early to get extracurricular tutoring done Yeah, I'm gonna be completely honest with you, fam. You would have been like the biggest red flag for me. Oh yeah, hundred percent. I was I, like, I, I knew I was. This is why I, I did. was like the one who hated like any. So I hate like rules and shit. 
I so especially Arnie, dating people Arnie is an anarchist uh, that is very anarchist but very baller very baller <laughs> no but it's like I, I literally didn't date anyone like for years because of this i could see why you didn't have time for anything not I only did. just were you were they strict but you had no time for anything i would not have been able to we would have broken up a terrible breakup it would have been like one of those like we want to be together but we can't because of other circumstances it would have been terrible you wouldn't have people would have written have, stories you, about you wouldn't us. have romeoed yourself for me <clears throat> what does that mean like killed you, myself yeah how would i have done that i would have just been miserable <laughs> your parents would have been my parents here's the thing <laughs> if we fell in love and we were in a relationship i will always fight to make that shit work no matter what Unless the other person gives up, I will not give up because that's how I feel. Unless someone cheats on someone. Oh yeah, fuck that. Fuck that, yeah. So if we were in a relationship, I would have just be like dealt with it. Boy. I did in high school. So in high school, I, I did so that. I. I somehow got my parents <laughs> off my back eventually, and then I had to deal with everyone else's parents being strict. My mom was just as strict as your parents are, or were you, as you described, in middle school for me. In middle But school? after that, it was you dated literally in just middle school? school. No, 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 not dating wise. Just <laughs> oh, okay. like I couldn't use my phone after nine. I had, I didn't have okay. to be home by a certain time, but. Do you know what age I got what? my first smartphone? What? Sophomore year of high school. Do you know how old I was when I got my first smartphone? How old? 12. So mad. <laughs> I'm so mad. <laughs> I had it at 12, and okay, I had a smartphone at 12, but. I was constantly getting it taken away, and I was always grounded, so I never had it. Me too. So I, I didn't really didn't actually have, have the phone. I didn't actually have the phone until, like, middle school-ish, like, area. We were terrible children, <laughs> weren't we? We lived two very different lives. We My high school was totally different from your high school. We literally grew up on opposite ends of the crunchy. You grew up in Flor- You grew up in, like, East Florida. I grew up in North Washington. Well, I grew up in- Half in Colorado, half in Oh, here. yeah, you did. Yeah. So you got to experience the white people. I did. I experienced the Midwest, and it was interesting. But, obviously, I liked it better than fucking here, bro. Here, bro, it sucks, bro. I moved to Colorado. You gotta visit me when I move to Colorado. I, I will do- I will 100% do this. Oh, also, I- I loved YouTube. Colorado. I'm moving to Colorado later this year. <laughs> I hate Arizona. Are you really? Yeah. Yeah, I am. Pog! That's like <laughs> half a country closer to me. Exactly. Let's go. Yeah, I'm moving to Colorado too. Ya. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> just like, see ya. Oh, here's a great one. This one I thought was hilarious. Museum date. Me what? thinking it was a normal museum date. Turns out it was the meat museum. And I'm vegan. Damn. I thought that was so funny. Wow. Like... Wow. You had to, like, not know this person at all. Well, it's like, a first date. Well, it's like, a first date. But, like, date. why would you take someone to a meat museum on a first date? I don't know date. why the fuck someone would take someone to a meat museum. A That's fucking actually meat a very museum. good question. I've taken someone to, like, art museums exactly. for a first date. Exactly. That's, a, that's so much fun. But a meat museum is definitely a first one for me. I didn't even know they had those things. A meat museum. A meat museum. What the fuck? And over here, we have the uh, ground beef. And if you follow me this way, we have the sausage. And right over here, if you look, we have the sirloin hanging from our Here we have a live reenactment of how burgers are made. Oh my god. They wouldn't last two minutes. Fuck. <laughs> a meat museum. Like, what meat were you thinking? Museum. Like, this is a great idea. Yo, Danny, I found, I met this really cute person. I, oh. I have this, I'm gonna take them to my favorite spot. Oh, I'm gonna take spot, them man? to the meat museum Ooh, and whoa. show them my favorite meats you're gonna show them your and meats. then after i'm gonna show them my meat I knew, yeah it's a great idea <laughs> meat museum what the fuck maybe he was just setting himself up for that just to be able to say that at the very end that's the only good that's the only thing i can alpha think of chat that would possess sigma someone. male makes it through the why day. did you take someone to a meat museum what'd yeah, you fucking say what'd you fucking say that shit again this one's amazing we shared a panda express meal behind the theater he was dressed as chip from beauty and the beast you know who chip is no, I don't know who Chip is. Chip is the teacup. Okay. Here, let me show you what he looks like. I know exactly what you're talking about. What's just, wrong with that? I don't think it's bad. I just think it's funny. I like, feel like that could be in a movie as a romantic scene. It's like it's like in like a like coming of age like rom com about like yeah, that's what, like, I'm, that's what I'm thinking. Like like a not an awk like an awkward like theater dude and then like a super sporty like jock. Exactly. And they're just like eating behind. I, they're eating Panda Express behind a movie theater. Yeah, that's kind of romantic. I need to see this as a rom com. I want to see this. I want to see. Two men, like, in their 20s, pretending to be high school kids, falling in love while one's performing in Beauty and the Beast while the other's trying to win championships on the varsity basketball team. Yes, I agree. I agree. 
Like, that's a movie. Hallmark. I'm going to hit up John Travolta right now. Why John Travolta? Oh, yes. Hallmark is better. <laughs> no. why, why John Travolta? <laughs> I'm sure he could produce something if he wanted to. <laughs> we'll get fucking, what's his name, Quentin Tarantino to direct. I was going to start reenacting Grease, but I almost started singing Thriller by Michael Jackson because I don't know why. Sometimes so. I forget you know musical theater. I I was a theater child. I was more than a theater kid. I studied it in college, too. I know. I forget this. Yeah. I dropped out of college. I was studying to become a politician. Oh, no, I dropped out of college, too. Oh, <laughs> fuck that shit. Did you know professors have to tell you to do things? Can you believe that shit? Exactly. And why? Like, why, why have your assignment in by this time. Fuck you. Don't look fuck at you. someone else's fuck paper you. while you're taking a test. No, you cannot look at your hand that you wrote the answers on while you're taking the test. Can you believe that shit? As soon as I found that shit, I was I got the fuck out of there. My life's been nothing shit. but rainbows and butterflies since then. This one's dumb, I think. When we uh um when we were on a date, he laughed and spit water all over me. He made a mistake. Okay, you know. Okay, but like, what are we talking? What are we talking? What are we talking? Are we talking like? Cause, bro, I'm like I'm like a diva, bro. If you spill shit on me, I'm I'm gonna be kind of like. I don't it think it was, I don't think it was on purpose. Like, he Can was you laughing. spit on me? He was laughing and like it was probably like spat out a little because like she made him laugh or something. Like something. Yeah, if it was just like a, it was just like a, that's that's whatever. But it was like a <laughs> fucking like waterfall, like, like a car, all like over a cartoon, her, like, like someone yeah, like like spitting a spit it. Take. <laughs> Yeah, if it was like that, bro, hey, we're gonna have some problems, bro. Like, bro, I don't, why would up. someone I don't do that? I think you that. did that on I was probably like a little trickle. Exactly. It's probably, probably like a little trickle, you know? I it was probably like a little I, dribble. People make mistakes. Like, listen, I have so many on here where people are just like, yeah, I shat myself. Do you know how many times I've gotten, like, I pissed I my just, pants? I just wouldn't date after that. <laughs> I just wouldn't date after that. Gone. It's over. It's over. <laughs> I would stop dating. I would love swear my, my love life off. <laughs> It's not for me. I shat myself last time I tried to date someone. I think I'm gonna stop. <laughs> Clearly, I'm not good at this. Let me stop. God. Oh my god, Sigma Male, are you ready for this? I went over to his place and he left me on his bed naked while he played League. <laughs> Sigma! But did Sigma. You, did you at least hit though? Imagine they yeah. just left them there naked and no, they didn't do anything. This person was naked. The person went to his house and was naked, and he went and played league. Yeah, exactly. So I'm saying today, at least like, why would they want to? So you're telling me this person got in their car naked, drove to their house naked, got out of their car and into their house naked, got on their bed naked, and this man was just like, nah, 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 gotta go mid with. I'm top laning Ari, right, let's go! There you go, I don't fucking know anything about League. That's all I know about League. You're telling me that's what happened? Sigma. They have to have at least done something. Sigma like, he has to have at least given her like a forehead kiss with I, her I think, naked I think, in front I, of him. I think it's like one of those dudes who's like so awkward that he can't like leave, even like look at a female. Either It's either that or he took a look at this naked person and just turned around and played League because it's about the grind set. I think it's about the grind set. I don't care how good Genshin, the Genshin update was. There is actually one exception. If DannyPhantom.exe is online and he says, Arnie, I am in this game. I need you to pull up right now. That's the exception. I will get up off my bed and I will do the same. I will leave them bare and afraid and in the cold with no sheets and no hoodie for this man to play some FPS or whatever the fuck. Prop night. That's the only exception. Prop night to play prop, some competitive prop, prop night. Prop night. Grind. <laughs> we need more games oh to God. play, bro. I'm telling you, bro, I played with Brandon. I played um, Dying Light with Brandon, Is and it, it was good? hilarious as fuck. Okay. It was hilarious, bro. Yeah, like, I'll, I'll we need to it. play it together, and we also need to stream it, bro. It okay. was so fucking funny. I'll grind it so We were, like, play. doing, like, this... We are doing this windmill shit, and he was at the top, bro, like, and... <laughs> Something happened, he like fell. It was the funniest shit ever, bro. Because then after I fell and we just both saw each other falling, it was the funniest oh thing ever. God. And he has this guy upgraded all the way on drop kicking. So this motherfucker when I'm playing with him, Brandon's just drop kicking <laughs> everyone like th every three seconds, flying everywhere, bro. It's the funniest I thing ever. I love Brandon bro. so much. We oh gotta play. God. We gotta play. We, we gotta got play. we gotta we gotta get on together. Oh, fuck. Okay, I gotta grind that out. Oh, here's a here's a here's a great one. He kept talking about my dead friend and then made me cry at Applebee's. Okay, all of it is fine. Why are you at an Applebee's? <laughs> 
the problem, I guess. <laughs> That's the problem. Why the fuck are you at an, at an Applebee's? Have you ever even been? I've never even been to an Applebee's. Have you been to an Applebee's? Oh, yeah, I've been to an Applebee's. You've been to an Applebee's? What the fuck do they even serve there? French fries. French fries? I don't know. It's just a fast food restaurant for French fries? I, I, they have decent sliders, I guess. Why do I feel like they have to serve apples? Oh, because well, the because if they serve if they served like... apples, they would have to serve bees as well, and I don't think they would do that. Well, it could just be like apples and honey, you know, like a play on words, kinda. That, that seems somewhat anti-Semitic because like apples and honey is like a Jewish thing. I can make that joke. What? I'm Jewish? Is it really? It's it's for like is it Rosh Hashanah? It's a Jewish holiday where you have apples and honey. Offbeat, fat check me on this, please. I dropped out of college, so I don't so know I. any of this. So did I. So then, how come you know and I don't? Because I grew up going to synagogue. Danny, do you know what Noche Buena is? I don't. Okay. I dropped out of college. I guess we all know. Yeah. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> <laughs> it's what Cubans do on the 24th, where they roast a pig and they all eat it. Delicious. Yeah. Take sounds good. Oh yeah, here's a great one. I shat myself playing Mario Kart. Oh, that's great. Um, no, yeah, I can't play Mario Kart. I'll fucking kill some. Mario Kart. So I li much fun. I've literally. I Mario Kart. I've sworn off Mario Kart. Mario Kart's so much fun I've, though. I can't play Mario Kart, bro. I get too competitive. I get triggered. I can't. It's for. It's. It's not. It's not for me. It's for everyone around me. That's why. You I've. Gotta, I've told the story once. We're gonna one play Mario time. Kart. We're gonna play Mario Kart then. I lost. Like, the story of how I got braces, I was playing Mario Kart with a friend. We were playing Mario Kart together, we both got heated, and we beat the shit out of each other with the remotes for the GameCube. And he fucked up my teeth so bad that I needed braces for, like, Why do you have a school. fucking, like, Nintendo GameCube in your new Twitch banner thing, then? Oh, because that is my weapon of choice. <laughs> <laughs> oh my- <laughs> Fuck, man. That's gonna be the new story for it now. <laughs> That was amazing, what the fuck? That's so fucking good. <laughs> I'm slick with it, bro. You are cl He's clean with it. God, that's hilarious. Oh, here's another one. I puked on his shoes. Ooh, I- That's- I've- <laughs> I've told you the story. I've had a girl throw up on me oh, yeah. before. Not on me. Just like, on me. Like, we were together. Threw up. Yeah. Gotcha. Oh my god, this is from one of my Twitch viewers. Okay, I'm gonna take this out of context because I think it's funny. Uh, one time <laughs> I went on a date with this guy, he brought me to watch Star Wars. <laughs> Damn, the tr trying to run Star Wars or something? I love Star Wars. <laughs> I love Star Wars. Fuck you. I love what the rest of the I story mean, is. I mean, Star Wars is cool. What is it? No, 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 no. What, sorry, what were you saying about Star Wars? I have barely I'm, seen I'm, any of the Star Wars movies. We're gonna change that. <laughs> I, I have, like, when I was really young, and I forgot all of them. We're gonna watch and I've had so many friends that love it as much as you do, and I've tried to get me into it. Great. Look, just don't let me use your lightsaber. I had a friend let me use their very expensive lightsaber, and I broke it. Bro, my lightsabers are meant to be broken. Fighting someone. Like, they're, they're, like I got combat. I, I, I have combat lightsabers, guys. They are meant to be, like, whipped. I've ran mine over with a car, and it still works. No, I, I don't know how, bro. I fucking... We were battling with them and shit, and I broke his, and he was very... He, like, started crying and everything. It was pretty big. Bro, pretty big deal. I don't care if you break mine. They are meant to be fought with. Let's fight with them. I'm down. We'll have you fight with them. TikTok video. Oh, here's a great mm -hmm. one. My ex called me a slur. Oh. That's fun. <laughs> Me and my girlfriend were kissing outside of a church, and, a, and one of the pastors came out and splashed us with holy water because we're lesbian. Oh my god. Oh my god. God fears you. Did they hit him? Did they hit the priest? I think it'd be funny if they assaulted him. <laughs> <laughs> I think that'd be hilarious. And then we jumped him. <laughs> part two <laughs> then we fucking kicked his ass listen it was god's will that he splashed us with water and it was god's will that we beat his ass he said i was ugly the moment he saw me i, I feel like he thought he was doing something when he did that got it he's like you know like you know like the like the male manipulator strategy where it's like just yeah like destroy their ego yeah yeah that's what i was that's thinking gotta, it's gotta be something like that. that's stupid mm -hmm. that's stupid as fuck that's that's i feel like that does not work like unless yeah. It's a very specifically messed up kind of person. Other than that, nah, they're not, they're, they're, Male no. manipulators Get aren't slick. They all look the same <laughs> and they all act the same. Don't fall for that shit. I think though, I say this all the time, the whole toxic is cute thing, I think is so it's, stupid. It's really not, there's like- uh, I think it's so stupid. Like the only kind of toxic is cute, I think, is like someone who's like, not like obsessed with you. But like that's kind of no, how, yeah. But I don't like, think that's that toxic. Exactly, it's just how a relationship should be. Like I'm all for you, right? Like, because it's like obsessed in like a healthy way. Exactly. When it's, it's obsessed like, in in a toxic way, then it's toxic. Exactly. There's a different. And toxic is not cute. I don't even. There's healthy. There's like it's not. There's not even a fine line. 
between healthy and toxic. It's like very distinctly different. There's again, it's because like, it's different for everyone. Everyone has a different opinion of what the word means. My opinion is that again, it's like I'm all for you. I'm all yours. You're my partner, and I care about you. Like I care about you so much. And then there's the other one where it's just yeah. like you can't see your friends, and you can't. Yeah, talk to anyone that's about yeah. Me. That's, but that's not obsessed, that's controlling. So what, what obsessed, I think obsessed would be a, a better word, would be like, I need to be with you all the time. Yeah, like no all, boundaries, no self. Yeah, it's just like, like I no need space. to see always what you're doing and you can't do anything without me and shit like that. Yeah, like, there's like, there's a good way, there's a correct way to be obsessed with someone and there's an incorrect way to be exactly. obsessed with someone. Have your own life. You can life. be obsessed with them. Yes, exactly. Have your own life Keep and going. your partner has their own life. And yes. then you meet together. A relationship is about being together, not yes. in, like growing together. It's not about just the other person. Yes. It's not at all just about you. Exactly. It's about being together. It's about a partnership. It's not about the people. It's about the partnership. Exactly. Very well said. She shitted her pants. Why are people shitting their pants? I don't know why people are shitting themselves. Stop shitting yourselves, guys. Fuck. Also, off the, this I wanna, is not I, okay. I want a hard cut from the last section of us talking about a healthy relationship. Just you, she shitted her pants. Fuck. I'm pretty sure that's how it went. She shitted her pants. Fuck. <laughs> what the, why God is there it. so many people shitting themselves? Caught on. Stop Fuck. shitting yourselves. Stop shitting yourselves. Save some for me. Ow. <laughs> Oh, after our first date, he asked me to marry him? Question mark. I feel like maybe he said it in a sarcastic way, and they did not understand it. I sure hope so. I sure hope that's how that went. Because I cannot imagine someone actually doing that. Some people are weird. Some people are the. Some people are weird. This is true. This is true. Not everyone can be as fucking amazing and brilliant as you and I can, Danny. And sometimes we forget this fact. This We're is just, just something that, that we domain. still struggle to wrap our minds around exactly. to this day. We're just the best. Oh, this one's just tragic. Oh, no. Didn't even get to go on the date, got stood up because he fell asleep and forgot. Flaky people are pieces of shit. Seriously. That is like why my number one pet peeve is flaky people. No, exactly. It's like if they, again, if they care about you, they care about you. If they don't, they don't. Oh, no, you're gonna hate me. that shit so much yes i'm going to hate you goodbye yes i am going to hate you i'm also <laughs> not going to talk to you anymore fuck you peace bitch i think we're good to end the video there you like what you got my guy all right all right i think we're going to end it there i've seen enough people shitting themselves and puking on people i don't i didn't know this was such a shared experience but hopefully y'all enjoyed the video um like and subscribe go follow arnie on youtube yeah yeah Go follow us on Go Twitch too. We to are Danny on YouTube. We're re are really active on Twitch. We're more active on Twitch than we yes. are on YouTube. Yes, we are. Yeah, so go follow us. It's fun. We stream. Do it or you die. I have a gun. I also have like 20 knives. I have a this. Go follow Arnie. Go follow me. Go get food, get water. And, um,. Yes. Or you die. Or you die. Love you, darlings. Need you to scream with me, Arnie. Are you ready? What are we going for? Like high pitched scream or like? Yeah, high pitched scream. Three. High pitch. Two. One. Ah!